Imagine a virus so deadly it kills half of those it infects, a silent threat now found infecting humans in the United States. This chilling discovery raises urgent questions about the world's preparedness for the next pandemic. In a sobering report published by the New York Times on December 27, 2024, journalist Benjamin Muller outlines the growing threat posed by the H5N1 bird flu virus. The article, titled Bird Flu Samples from Very Ill Patient Had Concerning Mutations, reveals findings with significant global implications. The story begins in southwest Louisiana, where the first reported severe H5N1 case in the United States uncovered genetic mutations that suggest the virus may be adapting to infect humans more efficiently. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, identified mutations in samples from the Louisiana patient's nose and throat. These mutations, absent in the backyard poultry flock linked to the infection, likely emerged during the illness and suggest the virus is learning to bind more effectively to human respiratory cells. This discovery raises significant concerns given H5N1's current case fatality rate of approximately 51%, as reported by the World Health Organization. Between 2003 and 2024, H5N1 caused 904 confirmed human infections globally, resulting in 464 deaths, a stark reminder of the virus's potential severity. Even if H5N1 evolves into a less virulent strain with a fatality rate closer to 5%, the consequences could still be catastrophic. By comparison, COVID-19 with an estimated fatality rate of around 1%, claimed at least 1.3 million lives in the United States and over 7 million worldwide. The World Health Organization estimates the true global toll, including excess deaths, to be closer to 14.9 million, with some experts suggesting the figure could be as high as 36 million. A 5% fatality rate would make the H5N1 virus five times deadlier than COVID-19, potentially resulting in 6.5 million deaths in the United States and 35 million globally. These figures illustrate how even a milder form of H5N1 could cause devastation on an unprecedented scale. Public health systems, already weakened by the prolonged effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, would likely face collapse under the weight of a widespread H5N1 outbreak. During COVID-19, hospitals reached their breaking points with shortages of beds, ventilators, and staff. A virus with a 5% fatality rate could similarly overwhelm healthcare infrastructure entirely. Healthcare workers, many of whom are still grappling with burnout and trauma from prior pandemics, might face impossible moral dilemmas, deciding who receives care when resources are exhausted. Others might choose to stay home to protect their families, compounding the crisis and leaving millions without access to critical medical care. The Louisiana case mirrors another recent severe H5N1 infection in British Columbia, Canada, where a teenager required a ventilator during a prolonged hospitalization. Both cases exhibited concerning mutations that raise questions about the virus's potential to achieve sustained human-to-human -human transmission. Co-infection with seasonal influenza could further increase this risk, as viruses can exchange genetic material to create a more transmissible and deadly hybrid strain. While this outcome remains hypothetical, experts warn that the possibility demands vigilant monitoring and urgent preventive action. History provides critical lessons about the dangers of underestimating such threats. The Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 overwhelmed healthcare systems and disrupted economies, while the COVID-19 pandemic revealed similar vulnerabilities. H5N1, with its higher fatality rate, carries the potential to surpass both in scale and severity. The interconnectedness of global travel, trade, and health systems amplifies the stakes, making early containment an urgent priority. Despite the availability of H5N1 vaccine candidates, proactive vaccination campaigns for high-risk groups such as farm workers have yet to be implemented. These individuals frequently exposed to infected livestock represent a critical line of defense against a potential pandemic. Economic impacts are already visible, with poultry outbreaks in California driving egg prices to all-time highs. In Oregon, a domestic cat recently died after consuming raw turkey contaminated with the virus, underscoring H5N1's ability to jump species and spread unpredictably. The politicization of public health measures during COVID-19 
estimated to have contributed to hundreds of thousands of preventable deaths, has created a troubling legacy. Social acceptance of mass death, paired with widespread denial of its scale, has ingrained a dangerous narrative. These same patterns, amplified by social media, are emerging once again, shaping a public mindset that denial and bravado can somehow protect against a virus. If H5N1, a virus estimated to be 50 times more lethal than COVID-19, achieves human-to-human -human transmission, these narratives could have catastrophic consequences. The lessons unlearned from the last pandemic now compound the risks of this one. A population conditioned to dismiss public health measures faces a cumulative effect. With even a fraction of H5N1's current fatality rate, the result could be unprecedented social instability, overwhelming healthcare systems, and tearing apart the fragile fabric of society. Denial will not shield us from what lies ahead. The time to act is now, to prepare, to cooperate, and to learn from the mistakes of the past. The future will judge us not by this threat's existence, but by how we confront it. Will we rise to the challenge or will we allow complacency to write our history? Please subscribe to the Intellectualist new YouTube channel where we present insightful videos analyzing the current events shaping the world. Turn on notifications to receive the latest updates from the channel.